Army and Navy are going to be playing in five different cities in 2023 through 2027. Now, they obviously rotate this game pretty frequently. I do believe that this is the one college football game that it does not matter where you play it, albeit that it be on the East Coast, right? I don't think that this game would do nearly as well in Los Angeles, in San Diego, places like that. There are certain places on the west side of this country that it would actually cause a big ruckus. It would be a scene. But this is a scene in and of itself that last weekend before bowl season starts, after conference championship weekend, it is always, one, highly attended, two, a big spectacle, and I always appreciate it. And I believe that the rest of the college football world does as well, even if they don't all watch. I think everybody respects it and everybody appreciates what it means, not only for the sport of college football, but for the country as a whole. Right? This is a, it, I talked about sacred earlier. This is a sacred event, and they are continuing to move this around. The dates as of right now, I'm not going to get into specific dates, but 2023, they're moving it to Foxborough, uh, where the Patriots play. All of these will be in NFL stadiums, by the way. So Foxborough, uh, Massachusetts, 2024 is Landover, Maryland. That is where the Washington football team plays, or the Commanders, as you say now. 2025 is Baltimore, Maryland, where the Ravens play. 2026, East Rutherford, New Jersey. And, of course, that is the Jets and the Giants. And Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, of course, Lincoln Financial, where the Eagles play. They have done Philly and East Rutherford multiple times. I I do wish at some point that we could see it uh, at at Mitchie Stadium. And I believe it's Mitchie Stadium. Good gracious. If, I, if it's not, Army fans, hit me up. Let me know. <laughs> I don't have it on, on me right now. I don't have my notes down. But... I do like the idea of rotating this game. Now, I'm not a huge fan of neutral site games in and of themselves because it takes away some of that college atmosphere. But I do think that with this game, when you're bringing in uh, the Army and Navy uh, cadets and and all that, I, I think it means that it doesn't matter where it is. You're still going to have the same feel. You're still going to have that tense, uh, all of the pregame stuff. Everything's going to be the same. And it doesn't matter where it goes. So I'm I'm a fan of them moving this around. I, I do like all the different areas that they've picked. I mean, it's all East Coast. I'm I'm a fan of this. So I, I would love for them to bring it down. At some point, I know they had talked about moving it down to Birmingham way back when. This is multiple decades ago. But they were talking about doing it at Legion Field, etc. You could put this thing at uh, Mercedes-Benz Stadium in Atlanta, you could take it to the Superdome in New Orleans, like all these, again, it would be highly attended and just a spectacle. I would love to see the South get some of this, but this does feel much more like a a Northeastern, East Coast kind of game. So I'm good with what they are doing, and of course, I will continue to watch. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.